Hey everybody, I just want to do this quick video. Um, our church has been trying to use this A10 Mini Pro as our main live stream. Um, and we was having issues with it constantly filling up the cache, which is right here. It would go 50%, 60%, 70%, 70%, all the way up to 100%. And our feed out would just be completely stuttering, you know, 10, 15 frames a second at best. It's awful. So I realized that up underneath the ATEM, it gets really hot. And so that kind of led me to believe that it wasn't a network issue because our, our network, our internet here is um, it's pretty quick, pretty fast. So I, it's kind of led me to believe that, well, maybe this thing's having problems processing the video and sending it out to uh, our restream platform. So anyways, what I did was on eBay, you can find this these brackets. I think I paid $14, $14 for, them, for them on eBay. And they just kind of clip on the sides there. And um, I'll show you the, the other side. And I, I bought those and that kind of helps, kind of helps get it off the off the ground quite a bit to help get some more airflow and also what i did uh on amazon i purchased these heat sinks and these heat sinks have double-sided thermal it's called thermal adhesive tape built into them i think i maybe spent like six bucks six six seven eight dollars on them for four of them and I hooked them up to it, and um, it's they're doing a pretty good job. It, the The back is it's still warm, but you can tell that these heat sinks are, are pulling quite a bit of heat off of it. Uh, and I just I've been here at the church for about almost two hours now, uh, running a uh, live stream test, and we're running 1080p, 60 frames a second. And you can see it here on the screen, I've been running for almost two hours. Um, bit rate's been jumping in between seven meg to probably mountain 11 meg. Um, the cache has never moved any. It's always been okay. Uh, hasn't jumped up, hasn't done nothing. And we have three cameras and we have our, our presentation uh, software running. And I, I've been running through the through everything, just clicking through things. I've even uh, did a picture in picture. Jane, price it right there. Actually, let me do this and you see it better. So yeah, so you know, I've literally threw everything at this to uh, try to get it to overheat, try to get it to to start caching itself, and getting getting behind processing the feed. And um, it's it's been it's been working just fantastic. Um, before this, if I was running 1080p, 60 frames a second, in about 20 minutes, it would literally stop start filling up the cache. Um, and if I dumped it, if I lowered the frame rate to 30 frames a second, it helped quite a bit. But even after about 45 minutes, it started going through cache or you know, loading up its cache and getting behind. Um, so I know uh, on different forums, this was kind of a big deal with these uh, ATEM Minis, the pro versions. The ATEM Mini uh, does not live stream uh, by itself. You have to use a computer system um, to live stream, but these ATEM Mini Pros, they can, they can go on air all by itself. You just program in the software and uh it's been pretty cool we've had it for about a year when we first got it i tried to get this to work and it, it just kept on messing up so we hooked it up to our mac and used obs for a while and uh 
because of some circumstances, we I decided to really work on this and get it to work. That way it's completely separate from our Mac and um, for whatever reason, if we have to restart our live stream or restart the Mac or something, our, our systems are separated. Um, so I, I hope this answered somebody's, some questions people had about it. Um, I, I've yet to really hear anybody doing this, doing this setup, but it seems to be working for us. And, um, our services, we usually go for about an hour, an hour and a half. So running full blast at two hours, it's probably the longest we'll ever really stream. Um, but like I said, I, I haven't had no issues, so, um, hope this helps. Thanks.